Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I've got some friend mail. This is from Elle in the Little Alien Works Op, and she's in Singapore, and she sent me some things to put into my Chinese glue book. Love, love, love this little baby dragon. I'm going to try and cut this out and use that. I don't know what she sent, but it's very exciting to get some international mail. I'm going to link her Etsy shop below. She has fabulous things, gorgeous, gorgeous, unusual items like Japanese kimono fabric tape and Japanese fabric scraps and all kinds of fussy cut ephemera. So please, please, please support L at the Little Alien Workshop. Like I said, I'm going to link her shop below. Oops, here we go. She said this would take a while to get to me because it's coming from overseas and had to go through customs. I think I got it. There we are. Hi Patty, I hope it wasn't a long wait for these and it didn't deter the finishing of your book. Well, Al, I'm still working on my book. Hope you like and have use for the items in this pack. I had hoped to give you some more or to make something you could use, but things and time unfortunately didn't allow me to do so. Perhaps next time, have fun with your crafting. XOXOL at Little Alien Works up on Etsy. Do give me a mention or review if you like the things I've sent. Of course I will. Cheers, L. Oh, so you can't sell the book that you use these in because these are copyright, but I don't sell my glue books for sure. I don't sell anything really. This is all for personal use. It says Georgette at home in the world. Georgette Cheng. Chen. Beautiful paintings. Family. Look at the portrait. Isn't that stunning? This one has some photographs, a sketch, attractions on the periphery of Beijing, the fort, oh this is a travel book, beautiful images in it, oh look at this, oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lunar calendar pages. My mom saved these for me. And I've tried to include all the Roman numerals. You can fussy cut them to use as you like. The bottom is the Chinese almanac. Use it as background. The numbers have animals from the Chinese zodiac. They give you indication which side is up to read the Chinese text. Oh my gosh. So many things, L. Oh, I see. It's like a page from the calendar. Sunday, June 28th, June 16th. This is very fine paper. This is almost like a rice paper. Probably have to like mod podge these in. January 31st. February. June. These are outstanding. <gasps> June 15th. This is my son's birthday. Yay. Oh, 
I should put little notes on everything. She's selling these in her Etsy store, but she's got quite a few spare, and they are a great source of all things Asian and are in the right colors. Cut them up or use them directly as pockets. I tend to fussy cut the characters or the corners. You can use them even as a background. Can't wait to see what you do with them. Oh, goldfish. Oh, I see. It's a little envelope. Oh my gosh, look at this. So sweet, so sweet, Elle. Oh my gosh. Crabtree and Evelyn. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the ox for Chinese New Year. This red envelopes, I think, are for like lucky money for the New Year. Beautiful, beautiful. Read this. It says, May you be flushed with success and abundance, but let's be mindful of wastage in our generations. Mindful of wastage in our celebration so future generations can enjoy an abundant spring. Let's all do our part and take small steps for a more sustainable future. Oh, so we're going to reuse these. Not let them go to waste. Oh, these are all my favorites. The squirrel one shows Singapore and skyline in the background. The squirrel is the mascot of the post office savings bank. Friend of babies. Something teach them to save. Oh, so the squirrel is teaching the children to save because the squirrel saves the nuts. These are all taped together. If you want some of these, please go visit Elle's shop. Like I said, she has beautiful, beautiful things for sale. I don't want to rip the paper. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Fortune cookies. These are absolutely outstanding. Thank you, L. Thank you, L. Thank you, L. That's three thank yous for good luck. Look at this. Oh, more stuff. These are from museums that she guides out. She's like a museum guide from different years. Dressed as personalities from the museum. Oh, so I guess the animal of the year is dressed as a personality from the museum. Oh, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm trying to be very careful here. That looks like monkey. 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 And is that the goat? <gasps> There's the baby dragon. Oh my gosh. This is like my absolute favorite. The dragon. So she's a guide at a museum. Oh, it's a big message. Um, so this is some silk ribbon. She said she liked how I reused the fabric from the pants. Um, Maybe if I go to Chinatown, she can find those things. But black is not an auspicious color, so you can use these orange, gold, and yellow ribbons to brighten it up if you like. They basically are colors for wealth, for gold and wealth. Please don't take 
my comment says criticism. I love what you've done. Take it as critique from a fellow crafter. You do awesome. Thanks for sharing the Chinese culture. The flower pot was awesome. The Chinese characters are upside down. Well, that we know. <laughs> that was my mistake. I put my characters upside down. Chinese Zodiac and Lucky Lottery. Some of the words I got kind of smushed off. Numbers, maybe? So they're hard to read. Oh, I see. So if you want to play the lottery, these are your lucky numbers. One of my favorite Chinese products, I use this as a bookmark. Anti-cough concentrated powders. Wow. These are like beautiful and unusual with the explanation of everything. And this is all stapled, so how can I read this here? Japanese origami papers, I think. These are papers I sell on my Etsy as envelopes. You have lovely papers in your book, but I reckon these will add that touch of Asian-ness to it. She calls it Asian-ness. I really want to take off the uh, staple. She's got it all stapled together. Can't believe she sent me all these goodies all the way from Singapore. Oh, boy, she just like described everything. So this is the origami paper she sells as these little envelopes. And inside, this is a digital kit she's releasing this month for sale, including them here for your sampling. So she has digital kits on her shop. Oh, look at this. And this is some kind of little pills made in Hong Kong. This is adorable. These are papers I sell on my Etsy as envelopes. Oh, I read that already. I wonder if she sells the papers or just the envelopes. Look at the colors and the patterns. I'm going to lose all my little notes here. Came down to the end. Oh, Happy New Year, a little shopping bag. Well, even if you're not doing an Asian theme or a Chinese glue book the way I am, I think if you visit her shop, you'll find some beautiful things to put into your journals. This may go with like a boho style or any kind of junk journal really. Look at these ribbons. These envelopes are precious, oh my gosh. Thank you, L. thank you, L. thank you, L. Now I have so many things that were gifted to me I will get out my Chinese glue book and do some pages. Thanks for coming along while I shared my happy mail from L at the Little Alien Works Op on Etsy. Please, please, please visit her shop. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but please visit her Etsy shop. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye now.